Uh, Doc, obviously they made it close. What did you like about the way you guys responded in this one? Well, we just kind of hung in there. Just We played defense the whole game. I mean, um, they made a couple of runs, and that's what they do, you know. Um, but we kept responding. We responded with big baskets and lots of lots of stops. Like, I thought our defense today was, was extraordinary. Uh, and then I thought that one stretch when Trez went out, uh, moving to Michael to the five was great for us. It, it stretched the floor a little bit. Uh, it gave us some minutes with Jamaica at the five, something we like. Um, so it was all good all the way around. Speaking of Trez, is the ankle doing okay? Do you know? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know yet. Um, I'm hoping. Obviously, it wasn't serious enough for you to think about keeping him out the rest of the game, I assume. Um, yeah, I mean, if, I, if it was, I would have. You know, um, they told us we can play him, so we put him back in. The way you guys closed the first, second, and third quarters, yeah. three, I don't I think first and second, they didn't score a field goal for like four minutes. Yeah. What particularly about those stretches? Well, it's just like play? one of the things we've not done, which you thought before the year we would do a lot of, we, we've made very few defensive runs uh, of late during this stretch. We keep doing it now. You know, we'll. You know, the, even the other night in the big offensive game, we came out in the third quarter and, and had a run where we got stops in a row. And when we get stops, we're scoring. You know, that's the one thing we talk about every day. Uh, and we're starting to do that now, and our guys are starting to see that. You know, they're talking about making defensive runs now instead of offensive runs. On that front, Doc, you know, as Paul kind of comes back and gets more and more in the yeah. game, he talks a lot about how his defense is what keys him when he feels. Yeah, you can see him getting into it. You know, he struggled early on. He just didn't have the legs. Uh, quite honestly, and now, like tonight, I thought he was great. We put him on CP a lot. Um, you know, we put Kawhi on Shea. You know, it's when you have that much size at your guard spots where you can put guys on on, uh, on little, smaller guards, uh, it makes you pretty good defensively. How important was it to be able to take advantage of the second unit on every yeah, it's just nice. That unit's been great for us all year. You know, they just play together. They 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 feed the hot hand. It's amazing how unselfish they are. I mean, Lou's the key scorer, but like Luke clearly saw that Jamichael had it going. He gave it to Jamichael. Then Trez came in. We thought Trez had a matchup. They gave it to Trez. I mean, it's just a really unselfish group. Uh, you know, what we tell them every night, they can get enough stops. They can play as long as they want to. Uh, and tonight they did that. Doc, you've got some really good teams throughout here. Yeah, you know, I don't know yet. I mean, we haven't been together enough, but this team matches up pretty well. Um, the, the thing you like about this team is it can be a really big team uh, and it can play small ball as well. You know, our small ball lineup is lethal. You know, we just haven't needed it much, you know. So it's nice to be able to have both. That Jermichael to five, that kind of five out offense, that's something one of the next 20 or so games. Yeah, it's more. something we talked about, him at the five or Marcus at the five, you know. Marcus was already on the floor, so we couldn't put him at the five. But both of them are great shooters and, and have the ability to space the floor. So, you know, we want Marcus at the five as well, but both of those guys are great. All right, guys.